Good morning guys, hope everyone is doing really well. I'm saying good morning because we're a few days later and I've been trying to edit this video for a few days. That's why a video hasn't gone up. Um, but we basically went to this wholesale warehouse where they sell either past best before dates or you know they haven't got much time left. They are really, really cheap and I would recommend if you've got one near you or there's one not too far from you, going in and having a look as we got quite a few good deals and I will explain like further about like the food and stuff and how I sort of process it and how I look at it personally it's not for everyone however sugar absolutely fine to consume past absolutely fine then you've got drinks again absolutely fine to consume past I am a bit iffy on food, but it depends on the type of food. If it's like a dry biscuit or something, absolutely fine. However, these did sell quite a lot of baby food items and things like that. So if you have got time, go down to your local one and have a look at the dates and stuff. Some of the ones were in date, but they weren't quite for when my little one would have been like ready to wean. So I decided against that. However yeah it's each to their own at the end of the day isn't it but i just wanted to show you all these amazing bargains and what you can actually get on offer there obviously i didn't buy everything as that'd be silly i've only just brought again what is best for us because yeah you don't want to be stocking i mean i've literally still got popcorn on my side now and i've got nowhere to put it because they are massive boxes with massive bags in them so yeah you know it is what it is but yeah, I am slowly getting to the end of these clips now. But I do hope that you do enjoy this. And if you do like this content and you do want to see me go into this place again, let me know, you know. Like, there's nothing wrong in showing everyone a bargain. And we have said that once this stuff that we've got has run out, we will probably go back again and see what is on offer again. However, if you sign up to their things online, you can actually see what they're having in. And if you sign up as a VIP, you can still, again, see what's coming in. So always go and check them out, guys. And I recommend, you know, finding out what's best for you. And yeah, just having a browse round, really. Hi, guys. So welcome back to my channel. We've just been to a place called Rogers which is like a wholesale bought by best before sort of place I'll go more into it in a moment however we are June we are the 8th of June um I've se seen this popping around a couple of times I thought you know what we're not that far from one it's about a 45 minute drive so I thought we'll go and have a look see what we can get so they mostly sell things that have already passed the before date so you know it's like drinks chocolate snacks things like that you know the dried food or sugary things or not sugary things that are absolutely fine you can still t drink them if that's what you, you want to do obviously some people are more fussy i'm more fussy in regards to things that are in date like food and things like that Dr pop and stuff i'm not that bothered about to be honest me stepdad used to work for a brewery and he'd bring home out of date red balls and all sorts you know when i was younger yeah so best before dates don't really phase me if it's in regards to like sweet stuff things like that it does however if it's like food food for consuming but we have got rather a good range here so i will show you what we have brought i will just say though the one we went to which is called bliston i believe which is basically in birmingham it's very like you could go to the gym on some of the stuff that we've been buying so in that aspect it's rather good but you let me know in the comments what you think and if you'd travel or if you wouldn't or what you think you know at the end of the day it is also what you like but let me know in the comments what you think I, if i did well if i didn't you know here is my receipt and it cost me 66 pound 50. so here is my receipt 
This is their little logo they've got. I don't know where to start. I don't know if these was, have signed two for a pound or if I'm just making that up in my head. But I did get two of these big bags of tackies. What gram are they? A four ounce, 113 gram bag. I got two of them. They cost me two pound. Now, I didn't actually have time to look at the dates on these. But it's a dry product, so it should be all right. September last year. But these will be fine. Listen. You know. Absolutely fine. The factory sealed still. You know, nothing can get in them. They're absolutely fine. So, bargain. A pack like that. Say you went Blackpool or somewhere like that and you went one of them sweet shops, that would probably cost you a fiver. So, basically a pound a bag there. I picked these up for them, have a look at. These expired the 24th of April this year, it says. Obviously, not expired, expired, just best before. Um, these were three pound. I don't know how many cookies you get in there, but I was looking at these Protein Valley, Nature Valley bars. That's how they look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's 12 there. And we paid £3 for that box. I mean, we haven't heard of MGP Nutrition before, but apparently you get the delicious, low sugar, high protein and vegan. It, these are the double chalk blueberry flavour made in the uk it says so these were launched in 2015 i believe and that's just a bit of information you can go on the website and find out more if you are interested but yeah we've never actually seen these before if i can get prices and that of what they're actually retailing for i will put them on on screen somewhere here or wherever um, but i haven't actually seen them before if you have let me know and if you've tried them let me know we also got these these have these are actually still in date till september it's all there now i didn't get one i got two bags of lollies these um I kind of cracked myself halfway around because there was a lady who got like a box on the trolley and thought if I read it wrong or something. So I went all the way back round to figure out it is just two bags. It's just that they had two bags in a box. But yeah, either way, these were two for £5. Now these are 50p each, roughly, in her bargains. So I found this online and this was the cheapest box I could find and it works out at £74.28 it says so God knows where they're getting these prices from but it would work out cheaper going to Home Bargains. Because I know that because they are one of my absolute all time favourite lollipops. We've got two of those, two for a five. We also picked up these. Now these have a best before date of the 27th of May this year. But they're still fine, still sealed. There is 12 in a box. And I think these were the £3.50 because the protein cookies were £3. And these are supposed to be a pound per single bar, as you can see. So it would normally cost at least 12 quid. But yeah not bad three pound fifty we also got some mark and ike they were three pound a box and they aren't like a massive box they are like the small boxes chewy. so if you fancy like a chewy chewy sweet so there are 80 calories per one of these 13 grams of sugar, so to be fair, you know, you fancy the sweet treats on like a half a day. So I've got that one, apparently the 25 cents each. And then I've got 
the berry, the berry blast, and the original. So three pound a box each. I know it's eBay, guys. So don't come for me, but it's the only place I could find what we've actually brought and to be able to show you what we've actually brought. I've got two different varieties of these. Either way, they are peanut butter. So we have got this one, which doesn't expire for a few more days. And then we've got this one that's also in a few days. So with the eighth of these, we've got the 11th one, but it's still next week, you know, there's still plenty of life in them. These were, that was two pound for the chocolate peanut butter powder. And then this one, well, that one's a 425 gram tub, but this one's 850 gram tub. And that one was two pound 50. It says per serving for the normal is 71 calories, two grams of fat, two grams of sugar, eight grams of protein. So they aren't actually too bad. So if you make like smoothies or a smoothie bowl or, you know, just fancy a bit of a milkshake, they're really, really good to be honest. And this one says it's only 66 calories per serving. 1.4 grams of fat and five grams of protein. So, thought we'd give them a go like i said like to ben we could pick we could not pick these up right and we'd never know if we liked them or we could pick them up while they're cheap and go do you know what they really worked for me let's go and buy because this sort of stuff because you're picking it up cheap you don't mind trying it oh i don't really like that whereas if you i get where like people would be like oh we could just pick one of these up for a pound out of the shop you could yeah but then if you do like them, it's a waste of money because then you've got to buy them at a pound a piece. Whereas if you just brought the box, you know. And to be honest, I'd just eat them anyway. My point is, so just try something you, you know, you can't go wrong really, can you? These, these hold a special place in our heart, to be honest, because we uh, went around London once and they were just giving these out willy-nilly because they were like trying to show off the brand and that. These... May this year, best before end. These are the orange and mango flavoured water with vitamins, and these are two calories per 100 ml, no sugars, no nothing. And they were three pounds for 12. I know it's Amazon, but it's the cheapest place I could find the 12 pack. And as you can see, it's 12 pounds 60 on here. And these are even cheaper. You've got calorie free, sugar free energy drinks. So Ben's been using this um, these for like pre-workouts. These ones are something called Bang Energy Drink. And this one is a pina colada one. They were £2.50. So guys, here are the ones I was on about where they're out of date from 9 25 However, I have found these ones which are 18 99 which I'm assuming are in date. But we also got... Unicorn Rainbow. Same calorie free, sugar free. But these are called Rainbow Unicorn. These did expire in October, but you know, they're absolutely fine. Guys, £16.49 is the cheapest I've found for this one. So let me know what you think and if you would even consider trying these ones. We've got we haven't got a full crate of Brian. Prime crate. These were five pound. A crate of Prime. These are still in date. July, later this year. July. I don't know if you can actually see that on there. July. You know, like I said, to me it's worth a look, worth a pop in. Damn Prime were five pound and you get the the 12 in there the cheapest i found these is 10 pound for a pack of 12 which isn't too bad to be honest as on their website they are 24.99 and then i also got these wow hydrates and these are protein ones they are vegan there's 50 
Can you? 50 calories per bottle. And these have like the sugar free, fat free, all sorts of things free. These only went out to date on the 26th of May. And these were £4. Now, I used to buy these for them quite regular. However, they were, for four of them, it was like £3.50 and that was on offer. So I was like, no, I'm not doing it anymore. But these work out at what? Like 30 feet each? I don't know. I might just do that as well and put like how much it works out at per bottle or whatever as well on screen. But these were £4 for a pack of 12. These are the ones off the website. But I have seen flat like Amazon and that for like 19 but they aren't the vegan edition, so I don't know what the difference is there. So I think that's all my drinks now. Well, they'll keep us going for a little while. I did pick up these. Now, these don't go out of date until later in the year. So I've picked these up for baby, just in case he can have them. However, I forgot to look if they contain milk because we're currently going through an issue that he's got, which is a milk allergy. Jasmine rice flour, banana powder, sunflower oil, starch, pumpkin powder, apple juice, banana flavour, vitamin E. Suitable for celiacs, milk intolerant and vegetarians. Oh, there we go then. So... Yeah, like I said, these, these go out of date later in the year, so we'll see how and if he takes them, you know, and if not, I'm sure some other child will, even my own child. And how many did you get in there? This box was £2.10. Now, these are really expensive in the shops normally. Normally, it's like £2 odd, at least like a pack of four, so they're not bad. This is what we brought but in the pumpkin and banana flavour, not this beetroot flavour. But either way they're the same thing, it's just that they're a different flavour. Picked up these, these are the Skinny Cookie Company. I used to have the carrot cake ones and they did have the carrot cake ones in there. However, I thought let's have a different one. These are Cherry Bakewell flavoured biscuits and these were £4. However, there are 10 boxes of 5 now these are normally a pound a box. Yeah, you get five in there. So they're the product. Per one biscuit is 96 calories. That's what? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's 50. 50 bars. And then they don't go out today until September. I couldn't find them in the flavour that I wanted to, but someone is selling them on here for $24.99. That's the cheapest I could find this sort of box. I got these for £3.50, so these don't actually got a date until October 2024. There was some in there for October 2023 dates on there. However, why when I can get them in date? So these are shredded beetroot, and I'm just thinking like, so I mean salads and things like that. They were £3.50. But you get a six in there. So here it says that they're £10.66 for a pack of six. However, it adds to the £1.60 each. So it actually works out better just buying them in singles anyway. I got some uh, Bisto Pigs and Blankets edition. These were a bit more on the pricey side. However, these don't go out of date until October later in the year. I say go out of date as if like they need to work. I've said it's best before. It's not out of date, out of date. You get a 12 pack for £6 now. I don't know if anyone knows how expensive Bisto is. I picked up a same size tub the other day because it was sausage gravy and it was going to cost me three quid for the same size as that. I've just got 12. Because I said to a woman, I said, I'll put it back for three quid because the size said £2.10. And I was getting paid at £2.10 to be honest. But I'm glad I did now because pigs and blankets, it's basically sausage gravy, isn't it, at the end of the day? They probably just repackaged it and gone, oh, it's sausage gravy. So, they'll be going in the lobby, casseroles, things like that, you know. 
Why not? So as you can see, these are coming up at £19.80. I know it's a different picture, but if you actually read the description, it is for Pigs and Blankets one. Last few bits. These are the KFC limited edition proper corn boxes. Now, there was other boxes in there and they were smaller and they were £3. However, these boxes were £3.50, but they're the big bags. So these are the 70 gram ones, whereas the other ones were 20 grams. But yeah, so we're going to try those. We did get two boxes of these because Ben's been getting crazy over this proper corn at the moment. He goes, I like KFC and I like that. I like the proper corn, so. I was like, I don't care if it's shit, you best eat it. The Jimmy's Lacker Fan was for 6 99 for eight of the bags, which is a box. It, in Sainsbury's and normal shops are about £1.90 each. So, two boxes. These were from April this year. And then last but not least, I picked up these, which are £3 for six bags of the old El Paso tortilla chippy things. In fact, you know from that too? from March but we've at them before we've at them before so the cheapest I've been able to find the five pack is for £10 on Amazon and I can't find them anywhere else and they're about £2.15 a bag normally yeah. and then quickly before I do go I've picked up a couple of things from TK Maxx so I'll just show them very very quickly so I was looking in the shoe section and I found these little crocs but they're like jelly and they buy chico i've never seen them before these are in the size four and a half and i thought well they'd probably be walking by then to be honest and these say that they were supposed to be 16 pound but i've got them for 6.99 i just thought they were really really cute and then last but not least i found this my size urinal by summer infant and Taylor. So, yeah, I thought we'll have a go at that. This was £9. On the internet, it's been selling up to 20 quid. And they were selling it for 14 99 but, you know, I've still got it for, what, six quid left. So, so yeah, baby. I've never seen one of them, and I just thought, you know what? Like, we always teach girls to sit down or whatever, and then we always moan about the fact that boys don't you know we how they should or they don't figure out the aim and you know he will have potties he will sit on the toilet he will you know do what's best for him at that time however i just think that's a really really good idea for when he's a bit bigger to show him how to obviously his dad's going to teach him to do that because not, not, not my department <laughs> um but i just thought that was a really good idea so yeah if you have got little boys and potty training is around the corner you know, I do suggest you probably having a look into it, see if it's for you. Or have a go at it and let me know if it is any good. But yeah, that is everything from today's haul. It's a bit of a long-winded video, I know, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's happening with my videos at the moment. It's like I keep just dragging them out and I don't know how because I keep like trying to rush, 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 rush. But yeah, that has been everything from this haul, guys. If you have liked my content and you do fancy a trip to these, let me know how you get on what you buy if you thought my trip was decent i spent a total of 66 pound 50 and to be fair i think i've not done bad at all with that there's quite a lot to sort of like the sweets there's energy drinks there's just normal drinks there's waters there's prime there's crisps there's there's quite a lot of stuff to sort of like bulk out my shops if that makes sense like i don't need to go buy energy drinks or drinks or anything for a while i've already got drinks and stuff in i've got stuff in the freezer at the moment so i think for the next couple of weeks i'm probably just gonna live off what i've got in apart from like bread things like that milk but yeah i hope everyone has enjoyed this content if you do like my channel guys please press the like button share your friends and family and please keep on watching and i will see you all in the next video Bye.